lost. I see Aaron is zero, so I don't know if he's joking with us. And encrypted one. There we go. Anon, great pencil. Awesome. All right. That was our sponsor, as you know, name base. So we're going to have a little clip of each major sponsor before each session just to prep everybody. But uh, that was entertaining. Oh. That is Aaron on a guitar, huh? Nice. <laughs> All right. So, so we're back. And uh, that was our opening. This is kind of a little bit of a heart to heart. I think we got, you know, 10, 15 minutes with Jahan and I chatting about, you know, what we're seeing in the community and, and some trends. So, I mean, like Jahan says, you know, we're we're definitely in a bear market, right? Crypto bear, and many companies and blockchains are are have closed shop or or not around, right? So just being here, anyone being here right now, should be proud proud as a protocol, as a community, as a company, as an individual. Uh, yeah. You know, what, what would you say, right, Jahan? I mean, it's a tough yeah, time I mean, right now. You know? Yeah, it's an incredibly tough. We're we're really at an inflection point, I think, where. Uh, the, you know, from my perspective as an investor, we've invested in over 250 companies, some of the largest layer ones in the space. What we're seeing is is really like kind of a, a reckoning uh, in the crypto space between, uh, you know, companies that have true mission uh, and companies that have, you know, kind of a speculative vision. Handshake, for better or for worse, has always been, you know, the little engine that could, I think, we hope, uh, without, you know, all the treasury, without all of the, you know, big VC backing and kind of participation, even though some participated, but they, they don't really participate. Um, and, you know, without all the hype, we've managed to maintain our community to kind of incrementally grow it. Um, and it really is all around the actual vision of what we're trying to achieve, which is decentralized domains uh, and a decentralized, you know, another pillar of the decentralized internet. I think that, you know, it's, it's a testament to us as a community that we keep focusing on this one vision. And of course we have fun things around it, auctions and, you know, collecting and et cetera. But at the end of the day, what we're doing with handshake is so important uh, as again, one of the kind of building blocks of the decentralized future. Now, I think with the age of, you know, um, AI uh, and chat GPT and generative, where things can be faked, where things can be, you know, spoofed, where it's hard to know where things come from, uh, truly authenticated uh, and, you know, kind of cryptographically proven authentic domains becomes even more important so that you know and you can prove that this is where information comes from. This is uh, where, you know, the source is. And that source truth, which is backed up by its own blockchain, becomes really important and I know in the Kanchik community, we always keep talking about, oh, and eventually, eventually, eventually. But the market is moving towards us in a lot of ways. Uh, and these use cases for how kind of identity, even if it's, you know, uh, site, website identity, these use cases are becoming more important. I don't know if you guys saw like WorldCoin. This is like decentralized identity biometric from Sam Altman, the, one of the co-founders of um, one of the founders of, of OpenAI. But authentication is, is so important. And that's kind of what we're doing here at Handshake uh, and trying to, you know, promote these decentralized, you know, kind of top level domains. Um, Mike, you want to add anything to that? I, I'm on the same page. You know, I mean, we will we will go through a lot of sessions each, um, you know, throughout the next few days. Um, you know, I think I think a lot of there's just I think there's two major categories of 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 handshake or of decentralized domains there's the I, digital identity or i think it's even going to call did and then there's of course the the resolve or domain like a website address so um i don't know if you have your opinion on on those two different paths i mean there's been various twitter spaces clubhouses where people are kind of going back and forth to those two different kind of tracks in a way 
Yeah, I don't know if I have so much of an opinion on, on that. I mean, I guess for me that what I think is important in the community are, are two things. One um, is, you know, it goes without saying, I guess, that we need to continue building. And, and even though there's not as much money in this in this arena yet, um, the the important thing is that we just keep on developing, keep on building. Um, I also think it's really important to build with integration in mind. Um, for me, at least, I think that Handshake as a standalone kind of uh, monolithic chain will not be as useful um, if it doesn't integrate with other chains, with other applications, and even centralized applications. I think one of the best you know, use cases for Handshake is if we can have these decentralized domains kind of resolving into browsers, resolving into you know, kind of centralized websites uh, and centralized um, businesses, that's where we really sit, start to see mainstream value and mainstream adoption. You know, the best case scenario is if the brands, like the large companies with, you know, billions of users are able to have their own decentralized domain where they can prove that the products that they're offering, the information that they're, you know, putting out there is really true, you know, well and truly coming from them. So I think building with an, a mind towards integration um, with mainstream um, kind of organizations and user bases is so, so important. But I think, you know, for me, and, I, and this goes along with, you know, Mike's theme of positivity, alignment and build is this idea that, you know, you know, three years into HandyCon and, you know, however many years it's been since, you know, Handshake was invented and released. Um, I think it's all the more important that we as a community kind of come together. Uh, and, you know, this is really almost a call to action uh, to the community to support each other. And I know it's like this kumbaya stuff. Everybody's going to have their own, you know, opinions and their own ways of thinking about stuff. And, you know, we're, we're crypto community. We're all crypto natives. So we're passionate about stuff and we like to, um, you know, argue about stuff and debate. But at the end of the day, Handshake is its own vision. And, and it's important that we as a community, like, stay together despite our differences. Um, Agreed. One of the other things is that I think it's really important for the community to get even more involved. And for the founders out there, amazing job, like congrats, like you're already doing it. Really, really appreciate you. But for those who aren't, who are kind of on the sidelines, who are, you know, investing in, in H&S here and there, trading domains, we actually need more help, right? The community needs more help. Handshake yeah. is still very much like, you know, a bottom tier, you know, at least in terms of coin market cap um, project, uh, despite its incredible passion, incredible community. We actually need more people to do more stuff. When I, when I kind of came up in the Ethereum community, so I, you, got, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I got my start in 2013 and started the Ethereum meetup in Hong Kong in 2014. And yeah. Mike and I were talking about it and we had this you know, kind of idea of making basically handshake meetups, handshake rings, um, which can help to allow people to come together and talk about handshake, trade domains, um, you know, just support each other from a technical standpoint, from a social standpoint. I think that to me, that's really important because um, we do need more activity around the world and being, we need more kind of like leaders in the handshake community who are willing to step up and organize and promote uh, and bring community together and create platforms for more builders to learn about handshake. There's still not enough ways for people to learn about handshake, to get guidance, to get support, um, to iterate ideas, to iterate, you know, kind of applications. And I think that, you know, this idea of running meetups, to me, at least, it might be a bit old school. Um, but for me, at least, I don't I don't know any other good ways to kind of create community at scale around the globe. And for all the people that were in, you know, Norway and, you know, Hong Kong and, uh, you know, New Jersey, et cetera, there's all these opportunities to bring newbies into the space, but it takes leadership. And I guess that's what this kind of call to action is. We need more yeah. leaders in the handshake ecosystem. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be, you know, kind of the, the loudest voice, but you need to organize and you need to step up and you need to, you know, bring people together, even if it's five people. My first Ethereum meetup was five people. This was back in March of 2014. That's how it starts. It starts with people who are just willing to come together. So that's kind of my, my appeal to the community, you know, on this third anniversary of, of HandyCon. Um, it's, it's not enough. Like, we're not going to get there if it's just, you know, several handfuls of people, no pun intended, who are trying to guide this community. It takes the entire, entire community to become leaders to scale the rest of the community. 
I love it. I agree. You know, um, we were chatting, Johanna, just quickly before we started the session, and we tried to do these. We want to try to have rings for Handycon. Um, you know, Noel and uh, and HTX, Steve Webb, and and a team in Austin. You know, not team, but you know, the community in Austin is doing amazing. I think it's almost monthly do now. Do you want to explain been, what the rings is? There might there might be new people here um, who don't know what handshake rings are. Yeah, I mean, it's probably most people don't know it. Uh, it it's a term that. We're, 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 you know, we're chatting about essentially meetups. So we really want to support this grassroots bottom up. It's my favorite part about handshake is, is this whole organic. So I already see people in the chat saying Dallas, Texas. I saw somebody said about Sweden, Italy. We want to support these rings, which are essentially meetups. We don't want to put too much pressure on you as an organizer. We know we know it's a lot of work. We know a lot of people here are doing this as their side hustle or, or you know, bootstrappers. But basically, um, the team organizing Handycon wants to support you um, as much as possible to put a little web page up, help you with posters, help you with just simple, like like Jahan says, if just a restaurant, a bar, a coffee shop, if you just want to pick a date and a time, we you know don't make it complicated. Just let us know. We can share on our channels, on our Twitter, uh, I, my personal account. I'd love to share. Um, a lot of you know Anne, but we'll, we'll, we have some systems. We have some systems um, where we can, you know, if you want to just contact us. I see some people in the chat already willing and to do it. Uh, we want to support you. We want to support you um, and essentially just keep it simple and start step by step. If you also as speakers, if we know speakers or experts in the community that are in your area, we could also introduce them to you as, the, as an organizer and just really try to build this up. I think, I think Jahan mentioned Ethereum really use this in their early days, right? Like Jahan was in Hong Kong doing meetups. And that's, I really believe community is the differentiator in these blockchains and crypto space. So if we can all organize is, better. The handshake community is, is, is its greatest asset other than it's, you know, kind of novel technology. Uh, and again, for those of you who are raising your hands, I love the enthusiasm like, you know, Long Beach, shout out. We've got kind of Lisbon, Los Angeles. Like, please, you know, the way that you do this is, you reach out to Mike, and Mike, can you put your, your email address into the chat just so people can you know sure. exactly? Send Mike an email right now and say, I would like to be a handshake ring. You're not signing your life away. You're not signing your firstborn away. You're just saying, I want to do one handshake meetup. And if you like doing it, awesome. We will help you get speakers. We're trying to act as a clearinghouse. If you're, a, if you're running a handshake company, so you know Matt from Superlink and everybody else who's running handshake companies out there, if you want to speak at a handshake ring, we will source you. We will say on this date, someone so and so in Stockholm is running a handshake uh, ring. Um, you can zoom in if you know. I mean, even better if you can stop by. But you know, the very least, uh, you can zoom in and just pitch. Give a presentation about handshake. Give a presentation about what you're working on. Um, it could be technical. It could be business. It could be you know creative. Whatever. We just want to, you know, people to, you know, share their love and share their information. At the very beginning, when I started doing my Ethereum meetups, I wasn't, a, I mean, I wasn't a founder. All I did was I just explained what Handshake was over and over and over again. I did the same pitch over and over, just help people understand what Ethereum was because I just didn't know. And that's where we are with Handshake. People just don't know what it is. But when you tell them about it, they're going to be interested. They're going to start collecting. So that's, yep. that's the pitch. I hope, you know... Get in touch with Mike. Yep. Uh, did you, did yep. you throw your email in there? I put my email. It's my work email. So Shaz cool. my, my my marketing company. Um, I wasn't really prepared. I have so many emails, but I guess that's my direct Google email for calendars and everything. Um, we are at time. It's really great. Um, we're going to try our best to stay on track for everything because we have so many great sessions. But yeah, I'm really inspired, Jahan. It's true. Like, I was hoping to have some more rings for today. But we just have Austin officially, which has been already That's going. Amazing! Oh, Congratulations but, to um, Austin because you're the first handshake ring. You're a leader. You're kind of showing the way. You're a role model for everybody else. So thank you so much for doing that. And, you know, Prague, London, Lisbon, L.A., let's get it started. Email Mike and, you start know, it. you can yeah, get we, it done. Just like with Handicon, we have a great team. I know people know me, but there's a whole team behind the scenes like Anne, a lot of you chat too. We can support you with finding speakers, promoting posters, website uh, pages, 
Um, it just, you don't need to be an expert. You don't even need to be an OG. If, if you're brand new, you just want to start. We want to support you. So you just, just need to just, be psyched. Uh, and I, you just need to be psyched about handshake and you need to yeah, show just up. Need to be in, in, yeah. In, in, there's no leader here, right? Like I, I reply on this in telegram group, people listing companies or exchanges to say, who's the leader. There is no leader. Anyone here just starting your first time to hear about this. You can, you can step up. All right, great. I'm really excited. This is a great kickoff to HandyCon 3. Thanks, Jahan, as always. Um, so I think we got we to gotta wrap it up. But um, thank you, everybody. We're going to move to the next session, which is David Vorick. I think a lot of you know him. And he's going to speak about this importance of decentralization and, uh, and why, why do we care about decentralization, which I'm really excited to hear about. So everybody, will, this session will end. I think you already got the hang of it. Join the next session and then see who's first in the next one. Thanks, thanks so much, Jahan. Really appreciate your time and the support for the community. And Mike, if there's a way that you can have a, I don't know if there's a place where you can put a sticky up for the entire community, but if there's a ring sign up sheet somewhere, or if there's a way that you can have, can True. constantly remind people to sign up for rings. If you want to attend a ring, say you want to attend a ring. Maybe that's the one to do it. If you want to lead a ring, say that too. Mike will come up with a way for people to kind of sign up to be a I ring feel leader. Like we made, I'm or waiting for Anna. She's so oh, busy. I think it's handyconda.xyz slash rings. I, I don't, I just wink. Yeah. Perfect. Slash rings. Let's, let's, There's let's, a let's, let's, landing let's, page. Let's on that for each of these things. Again, be okay. a ring master, be a ring follower, whatever you want. We love it. Thank you. Okay. Ed. Yeah, there's already a landing page there you can read about. Okay. So that's a great, great way to kick off the event. Um, and let's take action. This is not, not just participating. You can, you can be involved. We want to welcome more people, build up leaders, build up the community. Awesome. I see some raised hands too. Um, but I think we're going to move to the next session. So this room will be closing in a minute. And we will go into David's speech. But thanks again, Jahan. Yeah, hand, handycon.xyz slash rings is probably the easiest or emailing me, um, which I put in a chat or Ann or anybody. Can, uh, I'll update the, the graphic at some point uh, on the top and you can just put the, put the URL into the graphic. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, Jahan. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.